to create plies of different thickness go to your admin portal and here in in your catalog you will have the option of hardware where you can go into the ply section once you go into the ply section you will see that there are different ply subcategories that you can choose from suppose if you want to create varying thickness of bwr ply then you can see that i already have 6 mm 12 mm 16 mm 25 mm bwr ply which i have added from the warehouse add from warehouse here the first option is that you can go to the warehouse and add the plies here from the existing options that are available suppose the ply thickness that you want is not available in our warehouse then you can clone any particular group here let's say this 6 mm bwr ply i am going to clone it and i'm cloning it inside the bwr ply itself and let's say i wanted 22 mm bwr ply here so i'll name it 22 mm here the group name and the sku name also i'll name it as 22 mm i'll clone the sales channel and the pricing here however we will go into that as well after cloning it so after you have cloned it you can see that there is a 22 mm bwr ply here now you have only changed the name of this ply you have, you have changed the property here so you can go into the properties here like sku properties and since you own this item like you can see here that this has a own tag here so you own this item and you can make any changes on it you want so you can go into settings and sku properties here in you have the option of thickness since we had cloned a 6 mm bwr ply the thickness by default was 6 mm here however if you want to make change to 22 mm you can type 22 here and update details you can also change the brand if you want on here any other details that you want to change you can make any change here as well so this is how you can create thickness of 22 mm bwr ply here and when you are going into sku properties you also have the option of pricing and sales channel where you can actually change the price of the product let's say you want to price it at 100 rupees per square foot and you are putting taxes 18 percent and a margin of 20 percent so the total selling price is 147.50 so you can update it here if you have multiple sales channel in your organization then you can firstly see that these are the sales channel which were already added because I cloned the sales channel in the 6mm one but if I want to add any other sales channel as well I can select here and add those sales channels. By default the default sales channel will be added to this particular SKU but if you want to add any other sales channel you can also do that here. So once you have created a new SKU you can go into your design portal and refresh it once. So after you have refreshed it, let's say I'm selecting the cabinet here and the carcass. Right now, the core material, if I want to change the thickness of the core material, I can change the thickness here by click to change. And in the core material, now you can see along with this other material that were available, there's a 22 mm BWR ply also, which we had just created. So you can select the same and the material will be changed to 22 mm thickness. So if you have a query as to how to change the thickness of a ply used in a cabinet, you'll have to create another ply with the thickness that you want and then select the same as the core material. The reason you need to create a new SKU for changing the ply thickness is because it is a completely different product itself. A 18 mm ply versus a 22 mm ply are two different products. So you cannot change the thickness of the SKU here, you'll have to create another SKU with the different thickness and then change the core material.